Greg, we're in the final stages of the regular season. For teams that are on the outside looking in, what are these final games like? You have to continue to play hard because GMs are watching these games, seeing who packs it in and who continues to grind. So your future is at stake. And look at the struggles for San Antonio. Nope. We've got Isaiah Stewart, and it sends in at the one spot. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Patrick Willio. First personal foul. The Spurs shoot their first free throws of this at the line for the Spurs. And he knocks down the first Taking one. two shots. It ended in the bubble, but how about the Spurs playoff streak? 22 consecutive seasons, Greg, coming to an end. Kevin, making it every year from 1998 to 2019. Winning five titles. And Antonio Best Man. And having the same head coach. First personal fast streak. First team foul. Hall of At the line for Chicago. Both free throws good from Big Dog. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Pass to Sohan. DeRozan defending. The top of the key jumper is on the mark. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Levine finds DeRozan. Williams looking over the floor. Here's Big Dog. Off target with his three. And now the first time out called here for the Spurs. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Chicago Lovable! How about your Lovable's dance team? And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Here's Sims. Six to shoot, shoot and there's the call on Cody Zeller. Cody Zeller. That's his first foul. First That's foul. something you hate. You're trying to Second come in with foul. an aggressive mindset, and that early foul could take you right out of it. Here's Sims. As you can see from his numbers, he's been a key component in their offense. He's averaging almost 18 points a game. Five to shoot. Rejected. Here's Big Dog. Plays it up and makes it in. Big Dog's got seven points. DeMar is a magnet for defensive attention. You see the overreaction leading to a wide open man. Here's the pass to Sohan. It's Wesley on the wing. Spurs working the ball around now. Stewart. Sweet move. And it's Chicago with the rebound. They are coming into this having not to win against the Knicks in their last game. Yeah, facing that hostile crowd, they just found a way to kind of tune out the noise and focus on the game. What was beautiful, it was a tremendous game plan coming in. You saw the execution and you saw the results. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Levine against Wesley. That's the big dog. And here is Williams. Pass to big dog. Misses from close range. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. To the left wing. Here's Sims. It's good. This game is all even. He's got five. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Big Dog turned in an outstanding game against New York. Fires the three. Gets the three. Point of the fall. Big Dog's got a couple of threes now in the first with the Bulls. Wow. Unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Over to the wing. Here's Sims. To come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Thanks, Kevin. Well, I was able to talk with San Antonio's head coach. He said they know the challenge going up against this team that can score so many points in a hurry. He said we cannot try to match these guys basket for basket and get away from our defense. Because if you slack off these shooters even a little bit, then they really go off. We'll see if they can find that balance tonight and even this season series. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Sounds like they're very concerned about preventing an early run by their opponent. No doubt. You don't want to play catch-up if you can avoid it. They're going to lean on their defense to try to keep this game in check. And they're facing some excellent scores. It's going to take the effort of all five guys to make this strategy pay off. And boy, he's really in a good dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Here's Sohan. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. A shot's good from Sim. Three points. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Tipped away. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on DeRosa. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling for them here early on, you have to think they'll keep firing away. And I really like how they move the ball tonight. Because of this selfless approach, they are piling up the assists. And out of bounds is San Antonio gains position. San Antonio ball. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Now Wesley, who provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. High post try, buries the jump shot. He's got six. They're getting him shots in his spots. That's understanding your personnel. Fires from deep. Big dog, no good. San Antonio's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Ball's not loose, and here we go. And here they go. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And there's the strength we talk Defense about with DeRozan, converting through contact. First Absolutely terrific. You know, Greg, Second some guys five. are late bloomers, but DeRozan, and he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. Here's Sims. Ten points for him. Pass to West. Stewart with it. Inside. Here's Sims. Comes up empty here. That puts him at three for six. The Bulls with the lead. Here's Big Dog. And it's blocked with this length and terrific Stand instincts on the defensive five. end. Stewart is a Stewart. solid shot blocker. First personal you foul. don't ever want to get into the half of letting the offense get to the rim. The, the Bulls have shot Bulls. two of three from the free throw Number line tonight. Three. And they had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. That free throw good from Big Dog. Johnson, he's checked in for San Antonio. All free throws good from Big Dog. And he's a physical 6'8 center for the Pistons, and it's easy, Greg, to see why Isaiah Stewart has drawn comparisons to another great Piston, Ben Wallace. Always a good thing being compared to a Hall of Famer. And Stewart, not just brawn, he's brains too. Watch his film, takes notes. He wants to be great. The shot's out, good from Sim. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. They beat the Spurs during their last encounter in San Antonio. Not a close contest either the last time they got together. Everyone in the rotation played soccer for the match. Was the difference. Great scoring output from that second unit. Such a luxury to have that extra ammunition. Irving's checked in for Williams. The Bulls have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. 
Some nice ball movement here by the goal. Number three. Hey, ducks aren't always for the big fella. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Now, here's Vassell. His last outing, he had eight points. Sims makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Mike, this has been a tremendous three. quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Here's Sims. 24-point outing in their last game against New Orleans. Got a hand on it, and they're able to recover. Five on the clock. A floater, and he sinks the layup. Sims has got 16 points. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. Right side, Levine. The pass to Big Ben. Takes the three, and the point is another three. Boy, getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Pass to Vassell. Here's Sims. Ball foul. Cody Zeller. For San Antonio. Seven shot on the line so far. Four for two. Four. Four. And when you look at that free throw That's position, the the season, they're, they're right around. 72. That free throw, no good. Williams, he's checked in for Cody Zell. And he ends up missing both free throws. I can't believe he missed those shots. Wow, he was usually lights out from there. They get it back. And again, another one for Big Dog. Now it's a seven-point Bulls lead. Just doing the job on the back end. There's the drive. It's tipped. Here's Irving, and he banks in the lane, and the Bulls lead by nine. It's amazing how Kyrie can take contact, contort his body, and complete the play. And Antonio calls timeout, defeated by the Pelicans in the last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. Yeah, a snowball oh, effect. And and one thing go wrong with another, then another. Really, the story of the game. I was surprised they put up so little fight. That was not the team I expected to see that night. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. This is his first free throw of the game. At the line for the Spurs. And so Jones nails both of them. The Bulls leading by seven. To the paint. A creative playmaker. I love when Kyrie zips it to his teammates. And San Antonio has possession. Jones with the bounce pass. There's the steal. Williams passes to Big Guy. And the ball is another three. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Spurs trail by 12. Johnson in the corner. Back to Jones. On the wing, Porter. Here's Titov, and it's good for two. Relentless on the offensive glass, and then you love the finish. The bull shooting has been tremendous early. Their offense looking primed and ready for this match. Here's Big Dog and the powerful one-handed slam. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. We've got 148 left in the first quarter of the game. Yep, that one goes. And that's 36 points for Big Dog. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Another steal. Here's Levine. And then Levine with the jam. 
Look. The creativity, extreme athleticism. You see why Zach's won the dunk contest multiple times. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Johnson, and then Johnson Bobby with the dunk. Johnson. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be Bobby. curious to see the response. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Another steal. And Bobby the officials are in the backward violation. Not very careful there. San Antonio ball. Substitution on the court. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. So with Irving on the bench, here's the group Billy Donovan has on the floor. We've got both. Zach Levine is out there with Williams. Then there's Big Dog and it's Zeller in the pivot spot manning the middle. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. Well, Big Dog in the last matchup against New York was outstanding. He scored an amazing number of points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Thanks, David. Greg, it was obvious. He was having a lot of fun out there. Tremendous victory. I'll tell you, he may have been enjoying himself, but whoever was matched up against him certainly wasn't. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. A shot by Sims, no good. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the results. Then in the the defender all over. On you know, Gray, we talk a lot about Ball's Second offense, but his foul. defense is First just as important foul. to this team. Oh, Kevin, very good for the Bulls. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense First is going. And you see I'm players trying to get the officials Third to blow the whistle. Foul. Were players in your day Second great falling foul. down as much as they seem to be That's doing now? For the boys, it's way more common now. And let's face it, Taking it's a copycat league. All the whistles slow the game down. I just love to see them let a little bit more go. Here's Wesley. <laughs> And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Zach Levine. It's on Zach Levine. For San Antonio. They've hit six free throws in ten attempts. And the first one drops. Shooting for San Antonio. Wesley. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. This is part of the reason they're down. The free throw line has not been coming to the line this quarter. The line has cut the alley from Zach And they're Levine. getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Here's Sohan after the made shot from Big Dog. This is it to Sohan. Just five on the clock. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Ball. In transition, here come the Bulls. For three, Levine and the Bulls. Another three. That just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Good shooting can be contagious. You see the confidence running through this team right now. The shot's Keith. good from Sim. Assist goes to Sohan. The Bulls leading by 23. Ball feeling it out of it. Ask to Williams. To the inside. Shooting foul. foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Third team foul. And they've foul. had their difficulties from the line here. At the line the for second. Chicago. They extend their lead if they Number just three. make some more free throws. At the line for two. Both free throws good from Big Dog. Well, we know confidence is key, but Steve, when you see young players who haven't done much in the playoffs acting like they've arrived, 
can that kind of confidence hold them back a little bit? Well, you love confidence in anything you do, Kevin. Obviously, you need it. But it can backfire. You love that guys want to say they're great, but it all comes down to proving it. Seller with it. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Shot clock at six. Here's Big Dog. And again, no good by Chicago. And uh, San Antonio shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. Two free throws shooting coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Number three. The Spurs have made Second a little more than half their free throws today. Seven of 12. No good on that one. At the line for the Spurs. Bravo at the line for two. And he's good on the second. Here's Chicago. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Levine kicks the ball. Here's Big Dog. And again, no good by Chicago. Sims in the corner. Puts up a three. San Antonio again missing. Off the mark once again. Terrible quarter for him thus far. Big talk. That nice. falls. Nice yeah, feed that three. time from Ball. From Ball. Ball's got ball. his third assist on the night. And stolen by Zeller. And now Ball pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And then Levine with the chance. Nice speed from Lonzo Ball to the wide open man. He has a good eye for those openings. Here's Sims. He's got 18. Guarded by Levine. And the pass to Sohan. Four on the shot clock. Billy's the long range jumper. Sohan's got five points now in the quarter. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. And two Stand shots coming up with the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Third the Bulls have foul. shot the ball pretty well from the line, foul. going 8 of 11. And he makes the first. At the line for the Bulls. Changes for Chicago. That comes in for Levine. And it's Kosumu in for Lonzo Ball. San Antonio's gone 1 of 3 from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Here's Sims, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. And his performance at the strike hasn't been what I'd call outstanding in this game so far. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Bulls are gone. 6 of 14 shooting here in the second. Gosunu, the pass to Big Dog. Hangs on the trifecta. Big Dog's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Bulls. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Fires for three. And he stays with it. Pass to Williams. Tries again. Count it. Williams has got his second basket of the game. Here's Sims. He's got 20. Knocked away. And another steal for him. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Here's Sohan. He makes the jump from the left Sohan. block. Sohan's got seven. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Here's Big Dog. This one for three. Connects again from distance. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable. Here's Sims. It's Wesley on the wing. Up and in Wesley. on the layup. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight.
Here's Big Dog. Offline with his three. San Antonio's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Passes it to West from downtown. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take Both teams will make substitutions. And so it's the Chicago Bulls ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We've got more in store for you right after this. Bulls Youth Dance Team. second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And you know, Big Dog has been really making it happen, guys. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. On the court for San Antonio. We've got Isaiah Stewart, and it's Sohan in at the four spot. Levine against Wesley. Kept alive. Here's Big Dog off target at the rim. San Antonio's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. Six of 13. Sims inside, guarded by Levine. It's Wesley on the wing. Lock at six. Goes back up. Seller grabs the board. And that's the battle they haven't been playing today. Their work on the glass is on the chorus. And that's got to change. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. And the Spurs with possession. After the three-pointer from Big Dog. And here is Wesley. Rebound by the Bulls. Big Dog's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Hits it again. Keep that 61 point. Yep, everything is going his way right now. This is where Levine has really expanded his game, avoiding tunnel vision and getting others involved. Poked away. Here's Big Dog. Rebounded by the Spurs. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That will be the fourth of the string of five played on the road. It's Wesley on the wing. Guarded by Levine. Shots good by Wesley. Wesley's got five points so far. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Bulls moving the ball around. Zeller passes to Big Dog. Back to Zeller. Kicks it to Levine. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Steve, it's been tremendous to see Zach Levine reach his all-star potential in recent years. Kevin, you can tell he's loving it too, right? But yeah, this was a long time coming. He's at the top of his game, earning his spot among the best players in this league, Kevin. Zach Levine has so much talent and people just want more. But you can't argue that he produces in so many areas. Here's Sohan. He has seven balls. I mean, even from over Cody here, you can Zeller. see that one pretty Fourth clearly. personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Spurs. At the line for two. The first one falls. And he can't hit the second. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. And again, no good by Chicago. Williams' shot is off. The Spurs have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Stewart, and the dunk by Stewart. Stewart. 
Great move by Isaiah Stewart to find a lane to the rim. So powerful. Out to the wing. Let's go. That one a little long. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Chicago foul. DeMar DeRozan. Third personal foul. The first free throw is good. Foul. And one of the problems in the Shooting first half, San that Antonio. shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Wesley against Levine. Here's Big Dog. That's good. That's Levine with the assist. Levine's got four assists in the game. For San Antonio, they've gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Deflects the pass, and that's out of bounds. San Antonio will return the possession. Yeah, you love Coming the pressure the he's putting on them. Ball. Almost had that steal. Lonzo Fantastic ball. anticipation. He has active hands. Even though he doesn't come away with the turnover, he's disrupting their offensive flow. And the Bulls making a change here. Ball. Bulls check in. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Good work there as it goes. 13 points in the game. I love it. Beautiful job getting to the rim, making a play. Levine finds DeRozan. Now Levine. Big dog. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. Yeah, and he's been a force on the glass all game long. He has led this team in rebound Mike, and also taken on the role of enforcer. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for the Bulls? Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball, quick hands causing a lot of steals. And they've also forced a lot of turnovers, capitalizing and turning those turnovers into points. Way to get after it. And the Spurs with possession following the miss by DeRozan. Intercepted. All alone. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart, but the shots are going down. And now the latest from only quarter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking before, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes or misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. Kevin, back to you. Sign me up. I, that, is a, that is a fascinating story. David, thank you. Here's Big Dog. Kick out to Levine. Williams trying to break free. Levine's shot is off. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these that's open good. looks. You know he liked that one back. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Glad we got the chance to see that remarkable rejection. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Johnson's checked in for the Spurs. Here's Big Dog. Non-stop scoring machine here. A quick look, no good that time. That's tipped. Johnson with it. Now defended by Levine. Pass to Johnson. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Again, the miss by the Spurs. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. 
Now here's Levine. Not a lot of room. Big dog, no good. The Spurs have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Eight feet away. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Greg Kelvin Johnson is listed at 6'5", but he plays much bigger than me. Shooting for San Antonio. Fight for rebounds Kelvin Johnson. With anybody. Fearless Two. on the court and plays with an endless motor. This strength and willingness to use it makes him valuable. What I like about Kelvin Johnson, he doesn't settle. Most of his shots come from inside the line. To the middle. It's stolen. Guarded by Levine. Puts the move on. Here's Porter. DeRozan with the rebound. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. And the basket is good. Levine's got 11. He has length and he has athleticism. Both of those help him operate inside and beat good defenses. Titoff. He's guarded by Williams. Johnson outside. And he drives in. And that one, good. Keldon Johnson. He's got seven. I love that play from Keldon. Taking it at the bucket and being aggressive. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. T might be down, but a drive like that could spark them. There's Big Dog. And he's good on the free ball. Man, he's been on point. Not forcing things. Getting the most of his looks within the flow. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. On the wing, Porter. Good on the three-point shot. Kevin Porter Shooting Jr. while in rhythm. Porter Jr. has an impressive understanding for when to let that thing fly. Here's Big Dog. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. And it's Big Dog Four with the foul. foul. That will get him his fourth foul of the game and do the bonus. Foul. Line for two. Team the team is in the game. The persistent growth of Keldon Johnson. Substitution on the court. The Bulls leading by 23. So with Harden on the bench, here's the group that Billy Donovan has on the floor. Bonzo Ball out there with Big Dog. Then it's DeRozan. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Williams at center. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. It's incredible. And I'll tell you what, it's a joy to watch. There's more to this game than threes and dunks. That's good from Big Dog. The break we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. Taking two shots. You wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and, and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. Chicago has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. They're good on the three. They get a hand on it. Another bucket. Number three. He's been absolutely ridiculous in this game. You get the sense. He just can't miss. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. The pass to Sims to the left side wing. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. For Chicago, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. DeRozan passes to Big Dog. That three off the mark. For San Antonio, they've gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. The 3. And got it! Another basket. And there's 80 points. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. This guy right now on another level. Here's Sohan. 
out to the right wing. Launches it. The shot's good from Sims. Three. Sims has got 26 points. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. Pass to Big Dog. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. San Antonio. And the Bulls will... At the line for the Spurs, Brano. At the line for one. The topic of parity is always front and center with the NBA. So, Steve, how do you see the balance in the league these days? Well, Kevin, the NBA's done a good job trying to keep financial equality between teams. But the biggest stars want to play in the biggest markets. So parity will always be a factor. I'm sorry, that's a poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch this far in the paint. San Antonio's gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three point attempts here in the fourth. Passes to Sohan. Here's Sims. It's Wesley on the wing. Shoots over Dosumu. Wesley. Shots good by Wesley. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. There's Big Dog. The three. Wow. Through the contact. And that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. At the line for that free throw. Good from Big Dog. Number three. Taking three good on the second free throw. And he makes all three. Spurs shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. On the wing, Johnson. Pass to West. To the right side. Six on the shot clock. It's blocked. Fast break, here they come. He lobs it up. Goes to move, shot's good. Uh, yeah. Man, giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive stop. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots three. coming up. We know, Greg, Fifth, the league trending foul. towards small ball, but some teams are having success Shooting playing two bigs up front. And I think the key is having versatile big men. If they can space the floor and play in space, also be able to cover smaller players, why not get the added rebounding and rim protection? The Bulls making a switch here. Terry's checked in. And uh, San Antonio shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. It's Wesley on the wing. Chicago foul. Cody Zeller, fifth personal foul, fourth team foul. First one falls for him. Shooting for San Antonio, Wesley. And he makes the first, but misses the second. For Chicago, they've gone 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46 points of percent. Strong hall of work here by the offensive end, helping them to maintain, maintain their game. Down low, here's Wesley. No good with the way. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Stripped it away. Four on three break. Here's Sims. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Terry looking over the floor. There's Big Dog. From outside off the mark. Beyond the arc. A shot by Sims, no good. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Kicks it to Zeller. Bulls moving the ball around. Terror. Here's Big Dog. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First the leadership of the NBA Players Association, Greg, has said they support the expansion in two cities. 
which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Yeah, well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities, and I'd love to see a team in my hometown, but bottom line, more teams means more good fun. That's the sentiment I think Cody most Zeller. can get behind. Six, the Bulls are making a switch here. DeRozan is checked in. He's off the on the second. And so it's Terry bringing it up for the Bulls. DeRozan in the corner. Now the pass to Dozuna. And the Bulls with another miss. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Into the Bulls, uh, you know, shooting 49% on the game. They'll take that. Terry, the pass to DeRozan. There's Big Dog, defended by Barkley. Big Dog, no good. He clearly wants to try and close this game out strong, but your deep range isn't there. You just can't keep forcing it. On the wing, Porter, guarded by Green. And Porter, here we go. Kevin Porter Jr. Jr. Watch out. Kevin Porter Jr. coming through with a nasty deuce. Dosunu, the pass to Big Dog. And another one for Porter. He just knocks 92 points on that one. Simply surreal. GA, I'm not sure even he can believe what's going on right now. Jones kicks to Porter. Porter can't get that one to fall. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Now here's Dosumu, guarded by Porter. And uh, San Antonio shooting reasonably well, 45%. Here's Jones. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Craig protecting the rim. Six Love the hustle. Yeah, and, and luckily, they've got Antonio. terrific depth at that Shooting. position. If there's one. one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. That one misses for Barkley. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kid gloves, you're really not doing your job. The, the audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, players don't mind you criticizing their game. It's when those critiques become personal. That's the big dog. Three-pointer. A rebound by the Spurs. Jones looking for an opening. Passes it to Horford. Back to Jones. Lock at six. A shot's good Train on the goal. assist by Horford. An elite distributor for a pick man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. And again. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense. GA really taking it to the opposition. Alex Caruso. He's checked in for Dosumu. The Spurs shooting in the fourth quarter. Not pretty. Down around 29%. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Jones in the post. That Trey one goes Jones. in. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. The Bulls shooting at 42% in this final quarter. Here's Big Dog. A three-pointer, no good. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter of this one. The kick out to Porter. Nabbing another steal. The steals just don't end with him, and, and now he has a good look at the season record. The instincts, First the ball. tenacity he has shown on the First defensive end ball. all season long Team is, is awe-inspiring. What I appreciate about Patrick is that he plays his Patrick role well. Williams. doesn't play outside of himself. We talk about players, Steve, we talk about coaches and GMs, but not too much about owners and their effect on the game and the organization. Kevin, the owners for me are A1. It starts from the top. They're the ones who hire the team president, GMs, and coaches. And certainly, there's some teams who have some great owners. 
and uh, San Antonio shooting in this game 45 percent. And as we head to the final buzzer Kevin here, Porter a Jr. crushing blowout, big time dominance, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Chicago. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. Uh, they just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. Second, and of course, this season for these guys has been just remarkable. The win, and the win we've watched them Number take on the best teams in the league and dispense them with ease tonight. Will mark win number 72, adding to the storied season one more time. A two-game season series. They win them both and complete the sweep. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Big Dog. <laughs> oh, his array of talent on full display. Picks up the triple-double, really takes ownership of this game. I thought that made the difference for them tonight. Launches a three. Big dog, no good. Here's San Antonio now. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Count the best and the foul. The foul. Number Big three. dog, and so he's picked up. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really in a supreme effort. Right? It just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not like going 